Real-time alerts are interactive alerts that are used to quickly and easily highlight possible problem areas for the planner to evaluate without having to manually search through the entire plan to find them. They are displayed when you open a workspace. Real-time alerts are configured in the RPAS Cloud Edition configuration module. An alert definition specifies a number of conditions, each with styles and a message, that the alert can detect and display. These alert hits are then displayed in the cells of a designated target measure at that same intersection. The alert navigation then takes you right to the alert, where you can take action and then move on to the next one. Data outside of specified parameters is highlighted. The alerts are then updated each time you edit data and click Calculate. I will get started by clicking on the Quick Access Toolbar. The toolbar contains an exception list that shows all the available alerts. I can easily turn off a singular exception or use the All Exceptions button to turn everything off in one quick click. I can then pick and choose what alerts I'd like to make a priority. The number besides the icon shows the number of hits of each real-time alert for the entire workbook. When I finish, I can click OK. I can click on the information icon to see that for shop options, information includes measure, intersection, conditions, and how it will be formatted. Clicking X will close the box and return me to the alerts. I will get started on the currently selected shop options alert by clicking on the right arrow. That brings me to the first alert hit. Shop option alert will activate when the option has been marked as mandatory and does not have a mark for shop options. I don't have an update, so I'll deselect the mandatory check mark to clear the alert. I'll click Calculate to continue the process. I can now see the alert is cleared and ready for the next one. I want to see other types of alerts now, so I will click on the toolbar and bring up the other alerts. I will choose Fixture Capacity and click OK. After viewing this one alert, I decide to go back to Shop Options. I want to make those stand out more for me, so I will right-click on the cell and choose Format. Here, in the Exceptions area, I can click the Cell Format drop-down menu and change the background color of the cell to green. When finished, I click Apply and then Save. Now my alerts appear in the new format I created. I can see that Manage Views is grayed out while I'm working with alerts. If I need to change or edit my view, I will click the Done button to come out of Alert Navigation Mode and return to my workspace.